forgive me for my sins I can't stop this Demons all around me It gets toxic My head spins I feel nauseous I've been here So what is up YouTube? Wyatt Fan back again with another video In today's video you guys can tell the title Is my Wrestling Fan Bucket List Now I did a video like this I'm gonna say a year or a year and a half ago But it was like things that should be on every Wrestling Fan's Bucket List So this list is like more curated towards me there was about 10 things on this list, so yeah. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna say is probably on 99.9% .9 of Wrestling Fans' bucket lists, and that is attending WrestleMania front row. Now, I've been to two WrestleManias. I, my first one was WrestleMania 34, I was row 10. My second one was WrestleMania 35, I was row, I think, 16 or 17 on the ramp. Those seats weren't that good, but they were still okay. WrestleMania 34 seats, they were pretty good. But being front row at WrestleMania, that's just awesome. Something, how many front row seats is there? Probably, I'm gonna say, I think those, I don't even know how many front row seats there is for WrestleMania, but not like a lot. So yeah, there's not too many people who can actually say they've set front row at WrestleMania, even though next year there would have been 36 WrestleManias. But yeah, that's besides the point. Um, sitting front row at WrestleMania just seems awesome. Doesn't matter if it's front row ramp, front row camera side, hard cam, or even behind the announcers. I just think sitting front row at WrestleMania would be awesome. And yeah, that's just, I'm gonna say, like this list isn't in any particular order, but I'm gonna say that's probably pretty well up there on the top of my bucket list. One day it will happen. Okay. Okay, so next is to go to our big four uh, pay-per-views and the big four WrestleMania, Survival Series, SummerSlam, and Royal Rumble. I've been to two out of those four. Um, that being WrestleMania and Survival Series. I was actually at Survival Series 2015. And then I've been to WrestleMania, like, like I just said previously. But yeah, going to a Royal Rumble on a SummerSlam would, is, would be pretty awesome. I've been wanting to go to a Royal Rumble since I first became a Wrestling fan in 2008. Um, they haven't like really had a, um, a Royal Rumble super close since like I've been going to all these shows and stuff. And then, yeah, just to add on to this, going to and going to all like the big full pay per views in the exact same year, that would probably be, I guess, basically the same. But I would really like to add a Summer Slam and a Royal Rumble to my Western events list. Hopefully, that'll happen. I'm gonna say within the next two years, I, I would have completed going to like all for the big paper views, but we'll see. Okay, so the next one is go to a hometown NXT show. So if you guys didn't know, NXT is WWE's uh, developmental brand, and they're based out of Orlando, Florida. Now going to a show in like Orlando, an NXT show in Orlando, that just seems pretty cool, especially being like around all the hometown fans and seeing like all the talents like react, like interact with all the people that they see on like a weekly basis. I think that would be super cool. And yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to go to an NXT show in Orlando sometime in the near future. I don't know. But yeah, I think that would be super cool, whether it be in a like a TV taping or just a house show. I just think it would be a pretty cool environment to be in. Okay, so next, I could have accomplished this 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 year, but it would I would have been able to go to NXT and I had amazing t seats for NXT this year, and that is meet Ronda Rousey. I've been wanting to meet Ronda Rousey for a couple years now, and then once she actually got to WWE, it was like, whoa, this could actually happen. Um, I actually had the chance to meet her this year, but her signing collided with NXT. So, I already had NXT, NXT tickets, and like I said, I had amazing NXT seats. So, I wouldn't have been able to meet Ronda Rousey and go to NXT just because of timing. So, I did end up picking um, NXT, but meeting Ronda Rousey would be awesome. She's my favorite woman's wrestler WWE has, next to Sonya Deville, but I've met Sonya three times, so I can't really include her on this list. But yeah, just, she just seems like such a nice and genuine person. And yeah, I, I think the picture would be pretty cool. It would probably be my profile picture for, I'm gonna say, a couple of months. Okay, so next is something I think a lot of Western fans can agree with would be pretty cool. And that is travel to a different country for a Western event. I know I have a couple of friends who are actually going to um, Toronto for SummerSlam next month who live in the States, so that is pretty cool. But I think going to like a show in like London or something like that, like a, um, a taping or uh, 
a live event, no, not a live event, like a wall of SmackDown or even a pay-per-view in like London, Canada, anything like that. I think that would be super cool just to say I've traveled out of the country for wrestling. A lot of people would say that's stupid, it's wrestling, but I just think that's super cool. So yeah, hopefully one day, um, if WWE ever does, does like a WrestleMania in London, which I highly doubt that that's ever gonna happen, but if they do, I will 100% be there. With that being said, Okay, so next, I'm pretty sure every wrestling fan can agree with this one, and that is me, Vince McMahon. Meet the guy who basically started all of this for us. Um, a lot of people w w w wouldn't say it, but if there wasn't a WWE, there really wouldn't be much of any other wrestling, I guess, companies besides uh, New Japan, because it was already pretty much established before WWE. But yeah, there wouldn't be any TNA, OOH, CZW, AE, AEW. There wouldn't be any of the stuff without Vince McMahon. So yeah, it's like meeting the man who created all this and being able to thank him in person for what he's created and what he's done. I think that would be super cool, even though we don't like agree 100% with what he does a big majority of the time. I think it would be super cool just to be able to get a picture with him and thank him. So next is go to an AEW pay-per-view. Now I could have went to one that I could have went to one this year, but with all the stuff that I have going on and stuff this year, it didn't like line up with anything. So next year, fingers crossed, I'll be able to go to an AEW show uh, or a pay per view. I don't care if it's Chicago. I don't care if I have to go to Las Vegas. I don't care if it's New York. I'll I'll, I'll be at an AEW pay per view some at some point next year. And yeah, with everything they're doing right now, their events and everything, they haven't had a bad show yet. Even though they've only had what three shows as like official, official AEW. But yeah, I think it would be super cool, and since I'm a, I am a huge AEW fan, being in a pay view does seem pretty cool. Okay, so we actually have three things left. Um, the next one is get sponsored by WWE Shop. So if you guys didn't know, you can actually get sponsored by WWE Shop. Um, it's pretty easy, I would say, even though I haven't got sponsored yet. Um, you go on Twitter and put... Um, Hashtag WWE Shop Shots, and then from what I've seen, they we post you a couple times, and then they end up following you, and then you can, and then you can DM them to get like free stuff. Um, it doesn't happen for everybody, of course. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I've posted loads of um, like WWE posts, well now T-shirts and stuff, and I've only been posted one time. That was well in my uh, Leo Rush T-shirt. I've been on WWE Shop a couple times on like their. Uh, I guess people wearing um, the t-shirt section and the, like the items and stuff. But yeah, I have yet to get sponsored hopefully soon, even if it's just like a t-shirt or two. Hey, that's two t-shirts I don't have to buy. But yeah, I think getting sponsored by WWE Shop would be pretty cool. So next is sit front row at a wall. Now I've been second row at a wall multiple times. I've been third row, I've, been f I've never been fourth row for an event. But I've been fifth row multiple times, but I've never sat front row. One, just because WWE started doing that uh, wing side package package a couple years back and I couldn't afford the $500 front row seat but now that I'm in like the position that I'm in next time uh, the WWE actually comes to Knoxville I will 100% be front row I can guarantee you that um, either front row camera side or front row on the um, like the bell cable on the lamp either of those seats I'd be completely happy with but yeah I'll actually be able to knock that one off the list come next come sometime at the end of the year so hopefully fingers crossed that will happen so that's Last but not least, um, I'll be able to check this one off if I ever go to an AEW pay-per-view, and that is seeing Kenny Omega live. Um, Kenny Omega is one of the best wrestlers, I think, in history. I think everyone can pretty much agree on that. He's really good, and I just think seeing him in Paulson wrestle would be pretty cool. I've met him once. He was a, he was a pretty cool guy, super genuine. But yeah, being able to see him wrestle would be pretty cool too. See, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Comment down below and tell me some things that are on your wrestling fan bucket list. See, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.